voluntarily to fill the gaps. Um, I just don't know if that will meet the huge need for these materials. I mean, we're just, you know, at the very beginning, if you listen to the public health... Officials. Well, we're listening to the news. The news has got a lot going on. This whole country has got a lot going on. Uh, I'm just sitting back in my little uh, shop building radios and kind of getting first hand on all this stuff because I'm listening to radios all the time. And I uh, hope everybody's being safe out there. That's the main thing. I'm trying to do, not leave this place no more than I have to. Uh, this is a original 1969 Camaro AM radio. And uh, we've uh, cleaned it up, redone the case on it. It had a little rust in it and stuff. Went through it, and we've done a full roar design conversion. It has got AM and FM stereo, auxiliary in, which is automatic. Uh, USB port, this is your harness you'll be getting. This will uh, play a thumb drive, which you will get with this video on it and music. Also charge your phone, your devices. Auxiliary in right above there. That means you can hide this thing anywhere, any place you want to. Stick it out of the way where can't nobody see it because you can operate all of it from the face of the radio except for your auxiliary in. Be demonstrating this little deal here for your new uh, phones. Uh, I have a lot of people that say, well, don't have an aux out on my phone or a headphone out. But now you do if you get one of these. You got one. I'll demonstrate that. Bluetooth, hand free phone calls, voice command, voice assistance. Uh, this radio will scan your stations, has voice ID. And AM radio is neat. Uh, four channels out, 45 watts a channel. It's got pre-outs on the back if you want to add an amp to your rear speakers or even a sub. And uh, it's pretty neat. Built-in mic. You got a built-in mic here. You get an extra mic for your Bluetooth and voice command. And right now you're on FM. We're listening to the news on Trump. He just got through talking. Um. We do know that um, private test, commercial testing labs um, sent out... You don't go to AM radio, just simply turn the unit off and right back on. Takes you to AM radio. There we go. Off and right back on, takes you right back to FM stereo. Now you do have a little stereo LED down in here. You'll only be able to see them at night and operating LED because it's so far back in there. But I went ahead and put them in. You don't have to have them because this thing now, nowadays they talk to you and everything. Now always remember, uh, this is going to a, a new customer. Does not require 12 volt consistence. Not an aftermarket radio. There's no memory, no batteries changed, no nothing. So when you hook it up, the little blue wire on it is to tell an amp to come on or an antenna to come up. It's not to go to the battery. Uh, take your battery out of your car, put it back in. Uh, this radio goes right back doing what you had it doing. Uh, take the juice off of it, it comes right back to where you was at. And that's one good thing I like about these. Uh, AM and FM, you have your regular treble and bass, like you've always had. And you also have balance and fader built in this. I'm going to demonstrate that with the push button because this is another one of them radios that's kind of hard to get to. You got you have got a lever on this one, you can, you can adjust it. And uh, built in, I'll show you that's push button operated. Right now, I'm going to show you how to put it in the scanning mode. There's two ways of doing it. Uh, you can take your tuning knob and turn the needle up twice. Scanning for stations. Now it's going to scan for stations while you're going down the road and let it find your station. You ain't got to worry about it. Just sit there back and listen. Don't know that we know how. I mean, it's really. I think it's going to. Depend uh oh, we're whose back on that again. Version of this you take, right? I mean, the press. That little LED, if you can see it, is kind of pulsating back there. You'll be able to see it at night, but right now it's hard to see. So far back in there. And the governor has several plans to stop the spread, but first and foremost, he continues to urge social distancing. Governor Andrew. Bethel Music, God of Revival. So you like that station there, all you do is turn it once to lock on station it. Station hold. Or it'll go quiet if you want to find it and do a preset on it. There it is. Pull it out preset. 
like that. Word, uh, things you've done before. Now you, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it with the push button. You take your push button, which is real neat, hit it four times. One, two, three, four. Scanning for stations. It'll do the same Midnight, thing we just tonight. done. Midnight. Uh, but at any rate, I'm Diana DeVille in with you. And, uh, you know, do you ever have those moments where you walk somewhere and then you forget? So you like that station now? All you do is push this three times. One, two, three. Station hold. It's your lock on it. Now you got an AM radio, AM dial, but you're on FM. You want to know where you're at? Voice ID, one time. FM 93.3. Looking for more, you know. FM 90.3. FM 89.5. You'll do it on AM and FM, all in functions. That's pretty neat. While we're there, I'm gonna show you how to do your balance and fader, bass and treble. And uh, all you gotta do is just set it where you want to. Let's go into fader first. We're gonna take the push button, we're gonna push it once and hold it. Once, hold it. Fader, adjust. Now we go to this. There's the rears, there's the fronts. It'll stay in this mode as long as you're moving this till you find what you like. Let's balance it out. All right, just stop, let her set it. Set. Now let's go into balance right and left. We're gonna go two pushes and hold. One, two, hold. Balance, adjust. Right side, left side. Let's balance it out where we like it. Let her set it. Balance, set. Back on treble and bass. That's pretty neat. All right, I like how that does. Now we're gonna do the auxiliary in. If you got one of these, you got a smartphone, you can use your phone, you can put uh, iPods, uh, CD changers, XM radio, satellite radio, anything you want to. Plug it in here, it's got a head that puts out thing, it'll automatically change over for you. Just pull out your little mail to mail cord that comes in the package, plug it in. Let's use my phone. We're going to go to music. That's how your auxiliary in works automatically. Little LED, if it was dark, you could see it turn green. That means uh, you're on auxiliary in. Uh, anytime you're on a device and you want to go back to radio, just take that device and turn it off. You don't even have to unplug it. I'm going to plug this because we're moving on. And in 20 seconds, if you don't touch the radio, it'll automatically just change back to where we had it. But if you want to go a little quicker, just turn it off and back on like it's like I'm from AM to FM during that 20 seconds. It'll shorten it. Let's let it automatically go. There it goes. Now we're back. Now we're going to run our Bluetooth in. Bring our phone up. Let's go to Bluetooth settings. And we're going to let it look for one. And we're going to hold this button. There's two ways of doing it. You can do it with the button or you can do it with the volume knob. Hold this down. Let her help us out. Bluetooth ready to pair. Showed up on her phone, she'll tell me when it's done. Tap on it. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. All right. Now, it will take multiple devices. That means that I think it's five or eight. I'd have to look, see. And uh, But it'll always pick number one. So if you're the one who wants to answer all the phone calls, primary driver, it will do everything for you. Give you alerts. Uh, amber alerts come through. It'll stop for a second, give you that noise that you get it when you get one of them terrible texts like I get all the time. And uh, it's pretty neat. But what we're done, we turn it off. You shouldn't have to pair up the phone but one time. Unless you get a new phone or you got problems with your phone. And we want to make sure when we turn it on, it finds this phone. Bluetooth connected. There we go. Now we're going to do a voice command. 
You got a built-in mic, get an extra mic. This uh, Camaro here might be a little loud. Might have some glass packs. Oh, that's old school. They don't use glass packs anymore, do they? Anyhow, you can hold this down and bring your phone up. Siri's up on your phone. Tell your phone to call home, look up a restaurant, uh, play music, whatever you want to do. Or you can use the volume knob. Just turn it up twice. One, two. Play music. I'm on it. My phone's a little slow. Down south here, we're a little slow as it is. Still trying. <laughs> Still trying. Stand by, please. Anytime, honey. You can also do the same function by holding it down and bring this up. I'm having some this. trouble with the connection. Please try again in a moment. Oh, we're going to do it different. All right. Let's hold this down. Show you how to do it this way. Play music. Either way, you can get to it that way. Now, there's some multiple ways you can advance your song by pushing this once. Twice to back up a repeat. Or I can actually do it by moving the dial with a push button or with the tuner. Turn it up. Turn it up. Back up. Back up, repeat, there we go. Now we can summon our phone up again and tell it to do something, like go back to radio or stop music by either one. Let's do this one. One, two. Stop music. I'm on it. I think I'm going to have to turn my phone off and reboot it. Having trouble with it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. Every time I ask you something, you're on, hmm. Sorry, I'm having trouble huh. with the connection. Please try again in a moment. Stop music. Just a moment. Stop music. You didn't get to stop, did you, honey? Stop music. Went to pause. Back to radio. Play music. Stop music. Now oh, my phone finally caught up. Back to the radio. Now a phone call comes in. She'll come on and say, <coughs> excuse me, incoming call. All you do is tap this one time to answer your call or turn the dial up one click. Uh, just go ahead and do your talking, whatever you need to do. When it's done, you can let the phone hang up on its own. It'll go back to doing whatever you had the radio doing. Or if you want to end the call, down one click, twice on the push button. I'm going to do something with my phone. I've dropped it way too many times. Let's do the USB. Now, like I said, you can hide these because you can, you can uh, do everything from the front of the radio. Plug it in. On time, you got to change that out if you want to... Uh, Charge your phone or change the thumb drive. Up. Back. Up. If you go into the song a little way and you hit it twice, it'll repeat it for you. Twice. Twice. Back up. Now we went up here, up on the volume. 
to summon our phone up, we're going to go down and put it in pause, or we can hold this down for one second. Pause, right back to radio. It's going to cycle back around. Back on radio. Rodney Crowell on WMOT. Hold this down one She's second. Crazy for right back to thumb drive. Pause, right back to radio. Multiple ways of working it. Which I like that. Down twice, right back to the thumb drive. Of course, now if you're in pause for a long time, it's liable to go to a different song. It's computer operated, what can I say? Just like pulling it out and pushing it back in. That's your original 1969 Camaro AM radio with a full roar design conversion in it. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.